Just a couple of weeks ago, I was involved in unveiling a statue which was raised through uh, public subscription to private Jack Ryan VC, uh, who was a proud son of Tumut. And I believe I'm related to Jack Ryan, actually, because of uh, the Yass Ryans and the, the Kellys, good Irish Catholic breeders back in those days, uh, <laughs> intermarried. And uh, he was a particularly fine example of the person and the people that we admire most in that uh, unique military history of ours. These private Jack Ryan took personal responsibility in those salient and important days in the battle for uh, breaching the Hindenburg Line, which brought the war to an earlier end. Uh, understood very well by John Monash in particular, the finest commander that uh, this nation's produced, uh, that he had to push harder in those last few days uh, despite the strain that caused uh, because it would have saved thousands of lives in the long run. The war had, uh, had dragged on into uh, 1919. But Jack Ryan was a private and took personal initiative in rallying troops around him to engage in uh, feats of amazing uh, bravery and achievement. But after the war, Private Ryan was an experience that's been replicated many times in that he was unable to find employment and suffered through the Depression years and, and met an early death through the, the ravages of, of those experiences in 1941. And that's not now a unique experience in the history of, uh, of our veterans that have separated and struggled to, uh, to make a life for themselves in, in the civilian world. Uh, so I do applaud the initiatives that have been put forward and we've talked about the military government, the veterans employment policy, the family engagement strategy. Uh, do call on the government to take on board what veterans are urging about including the Commonwealth Superannuation Corporation issues into the Banking Royal Commission. This is a serious issue that they have raised with all of us that, that we support. And, uh, and I'm also very grateful that we are now proceeding with the Senate inquiry into the malarial drugs issue. That is a, a matter that really does need to be brought to a resolution. Um, but we have the Invictus Games coming up as well, and that does point to another area where uh, we have to develop strategies around dealing with mental health issues. And uh, with the A-type personalities that you get in the Defence Force, sport is a very good measure of dealing with those issues. It's certainly the main mechanism that I use for managing stress. Um, and I was really privileged to meet two of my constituents who will be participating in those games in Ben uh, Farinazzo and Ruth Hunt. Uh, both managed a yeah, journey, a very difficult journey through medical issues and, uh, uh, and post-service issues that they navigated and their experiences. They're, we're very proud of them. Their achievements are enormous and uh, wish them all the best in the Invictus Games coming up. I urge all Australians to embrace these games, to get out and support these men and women. Uh, they are achieving tremendous things and are an absolute inspiration to all of us who have lesser impediments to our lives. And uh, uh, really, I look forward to them achieving great things on the, the field of sport as they have done in the field of service.